Hello, this is Felix, the handyman. My wife got out here, tried to start it, but it wouldn't start. I came out here, I had to push it inwards to get it to start. So, what I did was, I took off the cover. To remove the cover, there's three screws right underneath the column. You take them three screws off, you pop off the bottom part, and you pop off the top part. Then you come over to the ignition. You put your key in there, turn it to the on position. Once it's on the on position, there's a little pin right here on top. You push that and your key will come out. It's hard to do with the camera and uh, holding the camera, so we'll be right back. Okay, now you've taken out the key and the assembly. And of course that silly alarm is gonna be going off. So you take your pliers, put them in there, grab the lock, twist it backwards. That takes care of the annoying. Okay, your next step is come over to the table and get some quick setting epoxy putty. You know, me, I like to shop at Do It Best. So I go over there. I got some of this. Cut off a piece. You gotta take off that plastic cover that's on it. You mix it up into a little wad like this. And you put a little bit on your ignition tab. The flat side right there, okay, is not pushing the pin over far enough. So you put a little bit on there. To extend the distance. You see how I extended the distance? Okay, you let that stuff set up for half an hour to 45 minutes. You put it back in and you try it. If it's hard putting in, you take a file and you file it down a little bit and you put it back in again till it fits comfortably. Okay, now you're back at the car. And you'll notice that little thing back there is at an angle. So, reach in there Twist it so the radio comes on. <laughs> or you got a noise. <clears throat> After that, you turn your lock so that it's facing upwards like this. Put it into an ignition. Line it, slide it in there till it locks. Now, you don't have to be bumping it in anymore. And you don't have to spend $1,500 for a new lock module thingy. All you do is you put your covers back on, and that's it. Done deal. You see, what's happening in your ignition is that the plunger isn't going far enough over. It's got a push on the starter relay on the other side. So, instead of buying a whole new relay, all you have to do is extend your plunger a little bit. So, when you could put the putty on there, 
it hardens really hard like a rock. And then it just pushes the plunger back a little bit. So that when you start it, you don't have to be wiggling with the key or pushing it in or anything. It'll just hit on there and it'll start it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little session. And uh, it's easy to do. All you do is take out a few screws and push a little pin, do a little alignment, take needle nose pliers and twist that thing on and off. And that's it. Done deal. Once again, this is Felix the Handyman. Now, there's just one thing I do wish, though. <laughs> this is easier than fixing the government, and I wish they would stop playing their darn games and get back to running the government. Sometimes when I turn on the news, I feel like I'm watching Peyton Place or Days of Our Lives. <laughs> oh well. You folks have a nice day now. Once again, it's Felix the Handyman. Have a nice day.